My name is Don Matchell. LibreOffice Writer offers users the ability to add comments to their documents. An individual writer may use comments as a reminder to check on a fact presented in the text or to add a more detailed description at a later time. You can think of inserting a comment as adding a sticky note to a physical document. I'll place the cursor at the end of the first paragraph in the sample document and illustrate what a comment looks like. I could go to Insert Comment. I could click on the Insert Comment icon in the standard toolbar. I could use the hotkey combination shown of Control-Alt-C. I'll just click on the icon. You may need to adjust your screen to see both the text of the document and the comments. Notice that a colored comment box has been added to the right just outside of the document. The line extends from this to the point where the cursor was located. The comment box will disappear if you click the cursor elsewhere before adding text inside the box. I'll reinsert the comment. You can also select some text before inserting a comment. I'll select the third paragraph and click Insert Comment. Notice that the selected text takes on a background color similar to that of the comment box. A down arrow appears at the bottom right corner of the comment box. If you click on this, you see a number of options. Resolve, Resolve Thread, Delete Comment, Delete Comment Thread, Delete All Comments by the name of the commenter, Delete All Comments, Format All Comments. I'll click on the last choice and a dialog opens that offers four different tabs to format the text of the comment box. Font, Font Effects, Position, Highlighting. You can also format text directly in the comment box. You cannot use styles, however. Notice that the icons at the top of the style section of the sidebar are grayed out. The name of the commenter as well as the date and time of the comment appear at the bottom of the comment box. The name is drawn from user data. I'll go to Tools, Options, LibreOffice, User Data. I'll change the first name to Fred in order to illustrate how collaborators can also make or respond to comments. I'll click OK. I'll click on the down arrow in the first comment box. Notice the new choice Reply. I'll click on this. A new comment box appears with a different background color and the name of the new commenter and the date and time of the comment. A note at the top of the comment box indicates the comment to which the reply refers. These two comments have now become a thread. The thread choices should now make more sense. By the way, you can right click in the comment box to get a context menu with the same choices the down arrow gives you as well as a couple of other choices. To hide or reveal the comments, you can go to View Comments. Or you can click on the comments arrow at the right end of the horizontal ruler. If you have a long document with numerous comments, you can use the navigator in the sidebar to review and go to them. I'll go to the navigator section. Notice under comments that the first few words of the comments are listed. If I double click on one of these, the cursor goes to that area of the document where the comment was inserted. If you want to print the comments, you must first go to Tools, Options, 
LibreOffice Writer, Print, and choose one of the options offered in the comments section. I'll choose In Margins and click OK. I'll click on the print icon in the standard toolbar and go to the LibreOffice Writer tab. Notice the different choices offered in the comments box. I'll choose Place in Margins. The size of the printed text is reduced to make room for the comments. I'll click Cancel. You can experiment with the various settings if you plan to export the document as a PDF. I found mixed results using the Windows 11 operating system. Some of the inconsistencies may be caused by trying to do too many things without closing the file, the LibreOffice program itself, or even shutting down and restarting the computer to clear cache memory. Inconsistent results with PDF export may also have something to do with the physical printer settings. When exporting as a PDF, you also get another option. I'll go to File, Export As, Export As PDF. I'll go to the General tab of the dialog that appears. In the Structure area, is a checkbox for comments as PDF annotations. I'll select this and click Export. I'll save this. I'll open the PDF document. You probably wouldn't choose to export comments to PDF often. You would probably use comments more often when dealing with a LibreOffice Writer ODT document, whether for your own use or when collaborating with others. However you use the feature, knowing how to use comments may prove useful. If you've learned something from this tutorial, please give it a like. Then use the link in the description area below to visit my Writing Efficiently channel and check out my other tutorials.